Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of React WooCommerce theme with REST API. Now in this video, we are going to fix the issue that we are currently having. So as you can see over here, it says warning prop dangerously set in an HTML did not match. So we are serving some content from WordPress and where we are getting the this particular HTML from WordPress, which is for widgets in the footer, but we have this warning. So let's see how we can solve this problem. If we take a look at some solutions online, there are people who are facing some issues regarding this. And if you follow this along, you can see that this is the one that people are saying help them. In fact, there are a couple of ways. Uh, first of all, let's try to understand why this issue is happening. So there is one article one person has written. You can take a look at that. Uh, which is this one hydrating text content from server side rendering and what he basically talks about is that when the content is being rendered from the server side then if there is a mismatch from the server side rendered content with the client side rendered content then you get this kind of a warning now there's no issue as such in terms of the function of the application but you do get that warning so if you want to fix that let's follow this along so let's take this example. Even this person is getting the same error. Let's keep going down. So there are a couple of solutions. One, if, if you're facing issues with Next.js, you can import the component dynamically with the Next dynamic import. Or if you are not using Next.js, then you can go ahead and follow this along. Then this person says that I had the same issue and you just had to use the state to detect one component has been mounted and show uh, show whatever that component is only after that, right? So to do that, you can see that this solution is where you check if the component has been mounted or not and go ahead and render that when it is mounted and that, that, warning, that warning will go off. So let's try that. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'll go to the footer. Okay, let's go to the footer. There you go, index. And then I'm going to pull the use effect and use state on top. And after that, I'm going to initialize a state called is mounted and this function will be set it, set mount and then use state initial value will be false. And then we use the use effect. And inside of this, we call this function, which means the, at the initial point when this component is rendered, use effect will be called and set mount will be true. And then we can wrap these two widgets markup inside of that and render that conditionally. So what we can do is just replace this part by wrapping it inside of this. So now we just check if is mounted is true, which means component has been mounted. Then we go ahead and render this, these two components, which are actually giving the warning with the dangerously set in an HTML, all right? So now if you go back and check, and if I refresh the page, now you can see that particular error is gone, right? There's no warning, nothing whatsoever. Uh, there are some errors in terms of SVG attribute, which is expecting length auto, but that doesn't relate to the error that was there before. So that, er that warning has been gone now, all right? Brilliant. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.